more professional games, 71% win ratio, and Finn's answer into the Gwen is going to be that Jax. Okay, both compositions, what do you make? I like this a lot. I really. love watching that as well when there's a bit of a surprise. Alyoya, level two, he hasn't uh, leveled up just yet. Pillar of Ice is available. Mickey's already flashed. He's locked behind the championship trophy. First blood unforgiven on the Draper. But worth noting that last game we saw a Trundle level two gank that essentially led to Rogue losing the entire game. And now, Sure, we get the level 2 gank. Sure, it works. We get the kill on the Draven. Flash. But now Makun is ready on the other side. He's looking for the play. He channels the Ooh. Hex Flash. He goes over the wall. This is going to be a trigger one for Armut. Heroic charge, heroic charge into the wall. And the kill was taken away. Not done yet. Patrick's underneath the tower. Forced to flash. Ignite burning 100 HP. Which is a big part of why this can happen. So props for him for securing that. And now we're looking at Makun who doesn't have flash. Oh, he doesn't. Gold card. Flash forward. Jump. Frozen Domain is up. The King Kaiser himself. Zenit blades forward. And you are not forgiven. Broxa, would you say that uh, Mad Lions struck first? Finn opted into that and lost. That was very aggressive, Finn. That was a, a pretty... Pretty bad. Pretty, pretty yeah, punishing. Yeah. Pretty, pretty difficult. Makun flashes for his life. Niski goes forward. The heroic charger by some time. Aqua Prison locks down. Niski had Mad Lions gone too far. Stand aside as Unforgiven steps forward. Level four. Whew, bounces back one for one. But I think crucially, Patrick was the one that picked up the kill. Ebb and flow. That's a flash forward into the shield of Daybreak. Flash forward. Oh. Not used just yet. Unforgiven keeps picking up those spinning axes. Two kills, two assists for Kaiser as Nuketak has been able to back and recall. Look at that damage! Oh my Just word! Taking over that bot lane, chipping away that turret, and this is the point where we're gonna have to see oh. Excel shining! <laughs> and with that, what are these top laners doing, Trevor? Know. What is going on? I don't know, it's not over yet! Broxa, what is going on in this game? I'm gonna say donates uh, reply to Finn after Finn donated one to Armut. And the Aqua Prism will go up. The culling is channeled. Destiny and Gate. And now all of a sudden the damage comes out. Whirling death. Unforgiven picks up another. Ayoya gets the eighth. That is a five and a half thousand gold lead. Alright, Nukta, what can you do? Shut down there as Malkun picks up that onto Kaiser. Niski drops as well. Ayoya's next to fall. And ladies and gentlemen, get your ham out because we're going ham this game. We are starting to Niski here. Niski has no flash available. The puppy is going to be so strong in this scenario. Smacks him into the wall. Finn follows up. Makun just tanks. Just easy. Gold card comes out. Does it get a reply? Nope, not enough tower damage yet. Just out of range in time. Look at the top lane, though. Uh, Draven with both flash as well as exhaust. And that Q from Mickey was gigantic. Uh, is not done yet. Zenith Blade goes forward. No tidal wave available. And the two of them just brute force that. Ah, this is not working out too well for Mickey. We saw it on his Janna last week, and I think it was the Enchanters. Yes. He's getting caught a lot. He's dying a little much, but to his credit, it is a difficult position playing into the Draven Leona as an Enchanter being this far, far behind. All of a sudden, we see Unforgiven in the 1v2. Ooh, gets the kill. That's a, sh that's a big shutdown. That Poured into the play with Twisted Fate while Finn is stuck bottom. Having no TP available, Finn is now working on the enemy red buff, looking for it. While the fight happens, stop through. Needlework is out. Nuketak's done well, but the reply from Armut, the reply from Armut! The dash perfect execution! It's a one for one. Oh, Armut landed. Fiesta at this point. Broxa, this is the happiest of happy games that I have seen. And we've been talking a lot about both teams as the Whirling Death comes up. Mickey, no, no, you are not able to fight. But the turnaround, XL managing to get one back. That's another. To one forgiven. Uh, Yoya stepping forward, lead backwards away. Solar Flu is used perfectly. Nuketuck arrives to the fray. Finn is already down. Two members of XL finish. Another to fall. Two for two. And I'm going to spin your mentality how you play the game. So, think about communication. I am pretty certain I know. Ten death power spikes. <laughs> and when he gets that, it's like, you know, slowly building up for that Exodia. Now we see it again. He goes for the eight <laughs> death. Secure
secures it in just a moment. Actually Not flashes yet. out. No, Nesky no. comes in. Yes. Get that death. Boom. Taken down. One step closer to the 10 deaths. Proxa, you are so optimistic. New tech joins the fray. He's now looking for a kill into Nesky Unforgiven. Is it Chase Markun out? Markun's going to be able to use that steadfast presence, but does get taken down. And unfortunately, while Mickey really wants to die some more this game, he manages to take his teammate down with him. Not ideal for X. Zero reason to believe that they know how to snowball with this Draven. <laughs> he got so far ahead so early into the game, they haven't played around him in any way possible. It feels like they barely have an AD carry, which doesn't make any sense to me. But hopefully soon enough, they will set that Draven up. Now, once Makun comes back in the map, Maybe they can look to set up Baron. Hard for them to, you know, okay. get the... Makun can come over the wall. Wait, Patrick's finding some damage with the help of the tower. Solar Flare comes out, cleansed and flashed. Whirling dead. Can it be pulled backwards? It's inside the Nexus. The tower will fall. And both teams have slowed down their play. New Tuck now fancying himself a shot. So challenging inside that hallowed mist. Dashing forward. Teleport being used. Is there enough burst? Below 300, 150. New Tuck blows up on... They seem happy to take down the mid-tier one. Securing that turret is always really key because it helps open up the map. And once you get a moment of mid prior, you can actually push in a little bit deeper. XL sends Finn down to solo Dragon. No one from Atlantis is going to be ready to respond. Of course, Niski is pushing on the other side. And here, Matt, they just have to regain control. Yeah, they really do. I don't... Oh, the Dragon's not finished. Um... Drop down to two and a half, does Finn actually is going to just donate this one over? That's a big mistake from yeah. XL. They thought they would have time to go for it, but ridiculous. But both teams do have pretty decent scaling. We oh. see them looking oh. for the play on Makun, but they're going very oh. deep into the enemy jungle. Don't chase too far, don't chase too far, don't chase too far. Oh, chase too far, chase too far. XL trying to turn around. No damage from the culling. That literally did nothing. Admittedly, a lot of people sidestepped. Is there a re-engage opportunity? Nuketuck stepping forward. Finn has got the teleport. Their mandate was Imperial. And Armour will pop his golden trinket. Uh, Finn, however, is about to make it to the tower. Gold card. Here we go, that's sushi. step number eight. Secure. Number eight on the card. Two away from the power spike. Thank you for Jax. I don't think we can hear it as... Yes! Uh, that was just for me. That was literally just that. for me. Thank you. That but is amazing. While Finn's in the bottom lane, the rest of Mad Lion starting the Baron. Teleport coming in. Mickey's down for another 15 seconds. Makun is low. Has flash available to him. Kaiser goes forward. Nuke Duck is chunked out. No ultimate from Unforgiven. Follow Unforgiven. Finn is locked in place. Leaps over to a ward. Flash forward from Alyoya. Chomped, snipped, cut. No needles just yet. He escapes. Finn escapes. Now, Mad Lions, do they go back to Baron? Finn tries to be the raid boss. Goes in for the 1v5. And while being a big jack, it's not quite enough. At the level where he can do that yet. As a result, oh. Excel, unfortunately for them, has to give up the Baron. And Mad Lions, while playing really sloppy macro this game, does get the LP active for themselves. Excel on the other side gets the Dragon. I mean, second Dragon apiece is now 6k, 5k gold lead. Um, with the ability to push those side lanes, Please look at that. Full build at 32 minutes. He cannot get any stronger, theoretically. There it is, Trevor. There it is, the moment Destiny. we've been waiting for. Nine. The death number nine. We are so close. <laughs> oh, oh, man. We haven't seen too much of it. With Mickey down once more, with the Baron empowered minions on this Red Bull Baron power play, they're going to extend at 3,600 gold. Minion wave up top is not really a threat. And the teleport's being brought forward. So XL, do they lose the inhib? It feels like they might. Frankly, as long as they can control the other lanes, this will funnel mm -hmm. much even. Yeah, jungler's are about on par. I think Unforgiven, obviously two levels up, is one of the biggest. Is XL are gonna jump onto armor. That's immune, that's immune. Pillar of Ice comes forward. It's Mickey, that's dead, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. Now Bonus. XL needs to survive long enough. Patrick's firing out the culling, but it's only going to the minions. Two members are down. Nobody from Mad Lions is finished. Now, Broxa, they need Mickey to respawn to use this power spike. And it looks like Mad Lions are going to push forward. No more Baron Puff, uh, but they Trevor, don't need it. I am so excited right now. What Mickey is doing here is beautiful. Few players have the talent <laughs> to achieve 10 deaths in a professional team. But he did it. He managed to do it. And soon, they just need him to spawn so he can carry his There's team from no here. There's no ways. There's no ways you're that prophetic, Broxa. Finn stepping all the way forward. Kaiser gets jumped on. He looks for Nuke Duck. Finn is down. Patrick flashes for his life. Here comes Mickey. Can he save the Nexus? The Nexus is being focused. A couple more shots. Armored first the kill. It's the not world. enough. It's not enough. Mad Lions take down XL. The 10 death power spike will not turn it around.